Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. My name is Barry from Matusu Crafts and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based here in the UK. But we are also available in France, Germany, Netherlands and Austria. Okay, so if you live in any one of these countries then you can purchase any of the Stampin' Up! items you see me using today via our online shop. Links can be found to our online shop down below in the comments or just below, just below this video. So links to our online shop, um, newsletters, subscribe is all down below. So if you want to, um, if you want to head over to any of those ones or hit the subscribe button for any future updates, please do. Like I say you'll find those down below. All right, so let's crack on. So what I'm going to do today for you is I am going to show you how to make a box for A6 cards. Okay, it's a quite well, it's quite a common size card, and sometimes, especially at this time of the year or any time of the year, you make cards which have got a little bit of height to them, so like this, and you need an envelope. Okay, and if you don't know how to make a box, then you might be a little bit stuck. So this video is for um, for well, basically for anyone really who even needs a refresher on how to make some boxes or doesn't know how to make boxes for your cards. All right, and this is just, this is gonna be for your standard sizes. I will be working in inches on this one, because um, I find it a bit easier to use, especially with the tools which I've got. I have got, I have done the, the centimeters, but I've not actually made the box in centimeters yet, so I'm not sure how reliable my measurements are, which is why I always work in inches, because I find inches for boxes are a lot easier because you need to fine tune the measurements and it's just a little bit easier with inches. So I'm going to do it in inches. I will write a, I will write, write a post up um, over on our blog and I will pop the centimetre measurements over there as well. And I might even do a video with the centimetre inches just so that comes up as well. So watch this space for that. All right, but first of all, it's all going to be in inches. And it's going to be for the UK sized um a6 cards rather than the american um so but obviously the the U, the uk ones are bigger than the american ones so it you should be you should be okay with these anyway well actually they're actually a little bit um i think the the imperial i think is a little bit it, there are slightly different sizes this is going to be for the for the uk size okay again if i do it when i do a blog post i try and convert everything over for you so it's over there so, okay so inches um and working on uk a4 paper okay so i hope that makes sense right so we are going to start, and I'm also going to be using the Feels Like Frost Designer Series paper, and this is the one which I have decided to use today. So that's the photographic side, one side, and that's that one, that side there. Really, really pretty. So we will cut that up last of all. So I have got some Knight of Navy cardstock. I'm going to bring in my trimmer here, my trusty trimmer. And this is the new Stamping Up trimmer, if you haven't seen it yet. So, and I am going to cut my card base down to seven and a half. So, can I? Yeah, okay, get it that way. By five and three quarters. Okay, so five and three quarters. They're going to cut, so you'll be able to get two bases from this by seven and a half. Okay, so that's the only bit of wastage which we've had on that one. And for the lid, I need it to be eight and one sixteen. So can I get the out of that one? So yeah, by six and five sixteen. Okay, just need to just bring this trimmer up a moment. What do I six and five sixteen? One, two. Just bear with me one moment. I, 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 I'm 
quite got used to this root, this trimmer at the moment. So six and five sixteen. So which is um, one, two, three, four, five, six, which is two under a half. Okay, so that's it. I just need to work out with this new trimmer at the moment where everything is. So which is There. Okay. By eight and one sixteen. Which is there. Okay. So you'll be able to get definitely two card bases out of this. And yeah, you'll only be able to get one lid. There's my two pieces. I'm going to bring in my scoreboard. So I'm going to pop my lid one to one side for a moment. I'm going to bring in my scoreboard. And I am going to score this at three quarters of an inch on all four sides. All right. So that's that part done, and I'm going to bring in my lid, okay, and I'm going to score this at half a, half an inch, and one inch, on all four sides. my scoring done. So then what you want to do is you want to grab your bone folder. So we're going to work on the box base at the moment. Grab your bone folder and fold and burnish all your lines. Okay, and we will just Snip in and notch that bit in. Snip and notch. Okay, so that's that. And then we will put some glue on your tabs. Like that. Okay, so just bring the score lines together, hold them in place for a little bit. Like so. Some on this one here as well. And I can be holding that side in as well at the same time. So give those a good old squeeze, get that glue moving about. Okay, and then whilst we move on to the lid, that can all be drying up. So there, that there is your card base, all right? So that will now fit your card in there nicely, all right? You're gonna, the reason we've got a lot of room at the top here is because me, me and Jay use, uh, cut our card bases, cut our cards slightly differently because um, we found it easier. So I haven't done it to the measurement of my card. I've done it to the measurement of what you will more likely be doing, okay? So um, it doesn't matter. If I did it my measurements, then your boxes would always come up too short. So I've done it I've done it to the measurements which you will be using for your card bases. So your cards normally, when you're doing A6, will normally be a 21 centimetre um, 
by 14.9 and then scored at 10.5 down the middle. So that's what this, this measurement card is on. Okay, so that fits that nicely. And you can see that it's, the dome fits in there, doesn't protrude out at all. All right, so good. So let's move on to our box lid. Okay, so the same thing. I am going to fold and burnish. Now, this is a reinforced lid, okay? So slightly, this is just gonna give it a little bit more stability. So that's why we've got the two score lines on this one. So that will make sense in a second. to cut away these three squares on all four sides. I'll bring this up to the camera in a second. Okay, so they're the three squares which we want to cut away on all four sides. All right, so let's cut away. So it's seven cuts on each corner you need. I worked it out. So you want to go snip down, snip down, snip across, then cut that part off there. Notch it in, notch it in, and take a tiny sliver off of the corner part there. So we're going to come down again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So we have one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and the last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if you've done less than seven cuts or more than seven cuts, you've done something wrong. Okay, so that's now what that should look like. All right, and the same thing again. You're going to grab your glue and you're going to pop some glue on that inner tab there and then stick it in place. So just like you did with the base, okay, so you're just going to go around and do what you did for the base first. Move on to that one. Move on to that one. And I'll put a bit of glue on that one there as well. It's just on the last two, it's just easier to put some glue on both tabs at the same time. Um, Otherwise, it's a little bit tricky to get the um, to get it in because it tends to want to fall on the outside. So if you've done it on, if you've glued it already, you haven't got to twist the cardstock around to get that tab back in. Okay. So then, what you want to do is you want to put some glue on these tabs here. So we're going to put some glue along that tab and then we then want to then fold that in on itself. Grab your bone folder and then just push that ink, that, I keep saying ink, push that glue around and get it, get it nice and set. 
Okay, and then we do this one here again. So we're doing this on all four sides. So this is what the reinforced part is, is that you just strengthen those edges, which is quite nice. It just gives that box a little bit more stability. Makes it feel that little bit more professional. And the final one. So once I've done this, if I've got everything correct and got my measurements done and haven't made a mistake, then this will fit perfectly, he says. Bring that in. And there we go. We have a box. And that's, that sits on there quite nicely. Okay. So we're just going to need to decorate that one up. All right. And what the way that I've designed it is it's designed it so it's got a lip on it as well. So it's not the full length of the box space. So you've got that nice, you've got that nice lip even all the way around. And that's a nice fitting box. All right. So, and that fits in because it's reinforced. That lid, the, the base will fall out eventually because obviously there's something in it. But it doesn't slip out too easily okay so you've got something which is see you can get you can get a box which makes rude noises what well, he did honest that was a box all right so good there we go so we will now cut ourselves some design the series paper just for the, the top so well, that was measuring let's grab my ruler so we'll do this in the inches, because that's what I've been working in. So let's class that, what was that? So if we do that at six and three quarters of an inch, not six, sorry. Five and three quarters of an inch. by four and one eighths. What did I just say? By four and one eighths. By five and three quarters, wasn't it, I said. Okay, so four and one eighths by five and three quarters. Four and one eight. By five and three quarters. And that will be a nice layer for the top of my box. All right, so we will pop there. And the reason I decided to use Knight of Navy is because it had the contrast with the designer series paper which I was using because it was white and silver. I'd like the contrast which it gave me. So there you go, you can just you can just finish off the box nicely. Just by popping a bit of paper on the top there. There you go. All right, and just to finish it off, did I bring it over with me? I thought I did. Where did I put it? There it is. Some ribbon. Okay. Let's see whether or not I can tie a ribbon nicely. I've been practicing, and we will see whether or not practice makes perfect. So I'm using the metallic ribbon in the seaside spray. So that's that. So I'm going to go across like so and round. Then I'm going to then bring it to the middle. And then take that 
take it round to the back. There we go. This is where I need to cut some off now. And then we then bring that ribbon through. Which then gives me a nice cross. Okay. So then I then want to do a bow. That's where I get a bit tongue twist not tongue tied to it a bit twisted because I don't I don't tie the bow correctly and then I just I, I rush it without tidying it up before I've done it. So I just need to just tidy that bow up a little bit. That's good enough. Okay, I could probably pay. I I've twisted that ribbon ever so slightly on that on that little bow right there, but I think I can live with that. So I quite like those long tails on that as well. So that there is a easy box. Actually, now I'm going to tidy those up a little bit. So I'm going to fold those in half, take my snips. In half, take my snips. And there we have it. That's just tidied the ends up a little bit there. And that there, and I was saying that's just, if the, if the lid is a little bit loose, then um, it will be fine. But the lid was quite nice on there anyway. Oh, I've twisted it. Oh, I will work, I will retie that. <laughs> Just make sure you don't twist it on the back. Okay, so there we go. That there is a simple box for any A6 card, which is about three quarters of an inch in depth. Okay, and that will then fit every single card you make which is like that you can pop like a little tag on here if you wanted to saying who to merry christmas or anything like that or happy birthday anything you want which can sit in there so there we go that there is a nice simple box okay i hope you enjoyed that please um please let us know in the comments what you think or if you've got any questions um, and I will do my best to answer everything um, as soon as possible. All right. Thank you for watching. Remember to hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already. Or to, um, remember to subscribe to our newsletters for any future updates. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.